my nurse, the Auburn bitch, the whore. On Hollow's Eve, she told me the story about... Let me tell you the story of the gummy bear orphan. Maybe that'll explain why I'm here in this hospital bed brushing my teeth for the third time tonight. Just in case I missed anything. The hospital I lay in was once a small orphanage in the middle of town. Many orphans came to live here, but one was particularly strange. She was the ninth to come to the orphanage during the month of October in the year 1989. She seemed normal enough. But as the month ended and Halloween night passed, the nurse noticed something strange happen in the way she acted. She became obsessed with sugary treats, anything she could get her hands on. It seemed her parents had never allowed her to eat any sweets, so now, after tasting all these lollipops and chocolates for the first time, she took a turn for the worse. The staff of the orphanage failed to keep her away from sweets. The child was a skilled lock picker. Took down any padlocks put between her and her precious sweets. Her senses were also very acute. Being able to smell from great distances the smallest specks of sugar on the other children. They tried to stop it. But this obsession with sugar continued. Two years passed, and by the time Halloween came again, the little orphan had lost all of her teeth. She seemed to drool constantly. It dripped onto the floor and left it sticky and horrible to walk on. The children called her Gummy Bear, as all that was left in her mouth was gooey red gums. She'd taken up a bad habit of sucking on sugar-coated spoons and rarely spoke a word. It hadn't long until the bullying started. Another year passed and the staff woke up the day after Halloween to find one of the orphans nearly dead, his teeth out of his mouth and smash cracked down to pointy stumps. The back door to the orphanage was found unlocked, and the gummy bear orphan was nowhere to be found. The other orphans said that they'd heard the boy boasting that night about how he didn't need to brush his teeth before bed, that he'd never lose his teeth like little gummy bear freak, and that she'd never have a smile like his. He didn't have a cheery smile or a boastful voice anymore, just a mouth would stung when he spoke. When he spoke, he had a rough, strained voice. His vocal cords would be scratched by teeth shards, and he had to try to swallow. Seems the gummy bear orphan didn't like those who didn't brush their teeth and took their looks for granted. Made fun of others who had nothing. Looks like she knocked him out in the night and smashed his teeth with her sugar-coated spoon, then snuck away into the night. Maybe she was looking for other boys and girls who didn't clean their teeth before bed. But anyway, good night. Sleep tight. I hope you brushed your teeth. <laughs>